Hi, I'm Alisa Tafoya, and I'm going to show you how to use the digital storytelling tool that we've learned about in or read about in our book. And digital storytelling is something that's fun, relatively simple for the most part, um, depending on which application you're using. Today I will be using Windows Live Movie Maker. I've also used Pinnacle Studio, which is an iPad app, which is absolutely fabulous. However, today I'm going to choose to use the Windows Live Movie Maker that is suggested in our book. Additionally, I'm able to show you how to use this digital storytelling tool by using Screencast-O-Matic, which is a screen capture um, application that you can use on your computer. Um, it's very effective uh, to use because you get to see everything that I'm doing in real time and I get to record this video and, and sound with it as well. Digital storytelling is a way to tell a story using digital media such as pictures, videos, music files. Uh, you can also use personal drawings or um, other information that you'd like to upload to your storyboard. The first thing you want to do with digital storytelling is compile all your information so that it's easy to use and is uh, relatively quick to upload. To simply add videos or files, you can go ahead and use um, the button that says add videos or files. I already have some uh, preloaded onto my computer. Um, so I'm going to take you to using uh, some files that I have um, that I took back in Wyoming of dinosaurs. And so I'm just going to use this as my story. And I'm going to select whatever pictures and be able to start adding them to my, um, my story, my storyboard right here. Right here to the left is how it's going to play. If I push play right now, it will just play without any sound. This is where you get to come in and add music, voice, transitions, things of that nature. So right now, it's just a picture. And once you keep adding files, you will be able to um, narrate a story and all that fun stuff and, and tell what you've learned. So I just keep adding files, whatever files. I have tons of files. I'm just going to pick random ones. Um, but it is pertaining to um, this dinosaur museum that I went to in Wyoming. Here's another good one. So keep adding as many files as you want to narrate your story. That would be the very first thing that I would do. One thing about storytelling and the program that you're using, a lot of it is just trial and error, just clicking on something to see if it's going to work. Um, here in my pictures library, I'm seeing if I can upload more than one picture at a time, and I can by selecting control and then tapping on the picture that I want. You can see in this blue area I have three pictures that are, are selected so that you don't have to go through each time and just upload one at a time. So these kind of things I suggest that you experiment with and see if it's capable on the, the program or computer that you're using. So right now I just selected about six pictures and you can see that they instantly um, went to my storyboard. So the next thing I w I want to do is be able to narrate some story out of it. Um, I can also add video files or music. However, I would leave the music until the very end if you want to add music in, just from past experience. I would get your narration, all your photos and videos in line first and where you want them to be. So I've uploaded my pictures for my story. However, I've noticed that there are a few pictures that I decided I, I didn't want after all. So I'm going to click on it and I can easily delete them just uh, by pressing that X button for deletion. I'm going to also do a right click and I can remove that as well. So again, I'm just trial and error as I um, navigate my way around the uh, Movie Maker application. Now we can go ahead and add movie themes to our slides to make the transitions easier and relatively smooth. Your movie themes are up here at the top and there's several to choose from. Um, I went ahead and chose this middle one and as you can see it's already um, playing and giving you um, a brief um, 
a brief uh, view of how your movie's gonna look. So you go ahead and pick a theme and there's a fade in to your actual photos and it goes through the sequence. Uh, but what's really neat about this particular theme that I chose is that there here at the end is I get to go ahead and have directed by and I get to insert my name. Um, the next uh, towards the end the transition has a um, the credits of who starred in my movie. Of course it was uh, dinosaurs millions of years ago. And then um, this was also neat. Uh, filmed on location where? Um, Earth. It was filmed on Earth. Um, I don't know. You can add all these different elements to your story to make it as interesting as um, formal or informal as you want it to be. As soon as I start to narrate, and this is what I suggest for narrating, is that you actually write down the narration of your story. Um, once you do that, you can go ahead and um, splice the pictures and the transitions so they match up to with, uh, with what you're saying. And that's going to be our next area that we move into here, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so after some experimenting, I've noticed that I'm not able to um, navigate, or excuse me, narrate my story using voice and recording my voice um, and I think it's because of my screen capture that I'm using that is recording everything that's going on and so I think that's why it's not recognizing um, uh, my voice here on um, Movie Maker. So instead we're going to compromise and we're going to use music instead. So this is a good insert for there. Um, I was experimenting with the music and um, as you can see right here on my storyboard is everything that I have done up to this point. So I've already put music in and I did that because I wanted to show you how to also remove things that you decided that you needed to change and didn't like. So currently um, I'll make a, a, a quick clip of, um, of this plane and you're going to hear the music and then we're going to take it out and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add different music in there. So I hope everybody can hear that. It's um, a little jingle. It was just a sample file. So anyway, let's say I decided, that, you know, I don't like that. All you need to do is right click and remove that music. And basically for anything that you have on there, if you just do a right click of your mouse, uh, it'll give you options for that item itself. Otherwise, go ahead and look up here at all your buttons and experiment with those. And, and look through each one of them that I suggest before you get started and know where each feature is. Uh, that will be very helpful. So um, instead, uh, back to the music part. So I go over here to add music. And I'm just going to add music to the whole thing. Not to a certain point. I'm not going to splice or anything like that. And right here is my sample music library. I chose the first one, and that's the one that we deleted. Uh, so let's just choose the next one. And we're going to add that. So now, as you can see up here at the top, it's a different music. Again, you can delete it otherwise. Same with your transitions as well. Um, you can delete those out of there um, on most things. It, I'm not going to go too in depth with all the different features just because all of the movie making applications are all different, but they're similar to um, the most degree. Moving along, um, it, there's all these buttons again that you can use for transitions. I'm not going to do that because it's, it already does it for me. Um, I did want to show you one other thing and that was how to go ahead and edit using the text tools. Um, right here I had I have January 2006. I, I don't know where that came from. That was a default. So here, just as simple as that, um, you know, I changed my text. And there we go. <clears throat> Same with uh, direction down here um, as far as who directed it. Go to there as well and edit that information because that is um, just by default. You go in there and input your information. Other than that, your editing is uh, of your text is primarily going to come at the end. Um, you're going to figure out a way to do it yourself. However, um, the first things first, of course, compiling all your information uh, because what it does is it builds the library for 
um, for the application. And so gather all that first. Believe me, it's much easier. Second is to go ahead and drag the photos, I recommend. Second, dragging the photos into your storyboard. And um, this space is your storyboard. It's going to be different on all applications, so just look for it. Mine on uh, Pinnacle Studio um, has it differently. It's, it's in a different format and it's wonderful. Um, so know where this is at. And second, narrate it. Put some voice behind it if you if that's what you're planning. Of course, you don't have to voice it. Uh, you can put music. Um, you can leave it completely blank as well and just show slides. Um, be creative with it. Uh, add stuff. Delete it. All those different kinds of things. Um, look at all your options. Look at all your, your fade-ins here with the music. Um, oops, let me go back to that. I have... Um, not quite sure what I did right there. But with the music, we can go ahead and fade in and do all those kind of options right here, slow, medium. A suggestion for fading in and out, use it at the same rate. So for instance, if you do a slow fade in, do a slow fade out as well. Um, I'm used to seconds here, but slow, medium, and, fine, and fast is fine. Um, but those are other options you can apply that give it the fine touches. The other options that give it good fine touches are the transitions and visual effects. So use those um, and experiment with them. You can always, of course, hit the undo button, infamous button right there. So um, just be afraid, don't be afraid, and just have fun and experiment with, with anything and everything that your movie maker application um, will allow you to do. Overall, <clears throat> From beginning to end, um, you're going to review your, your video numerous times. So at the end, um, you'll be very proud that how it all comes together with, you know, the transitions and the, and, um, the narration and the music and um, all this cool stuff. It really brings the story alive. And um, since I will be a language arts teacher, I definitely plan on using this particular tool to narrate stories, uh, get into character. I have a, a lot of wonderful ideas already to use with this tool. So um, I hope you all have fun with it. And there's many uses for it. Don't forget. And have fun and experiment.